In today's world, we encounter more airborne contaminants than ever before. That's why in the United States alone, more than 5 million workers wear respirators on the job. Still, over 66,000 U.S. workers suffer severe exposure to airborne contaminants each year, which can lead to blindness, lung damage, cancer, asbestosis, and other serious illnesses. Because of the severity of these problems, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, has created a regulation to protect workers from respiratory hazards. The regulation can be found in 29 CFR 1910.134. One of the things the regulation stresses is learning about respiratory hazards. They fall into three major groupings, dust, mist and fumes, gases and vapors, and oxygen deficiency and temperature extremes. Dust, mist, and fumes are tiny particles that were once parts of a larger mass. Later, they were separated from their parent substances and became airborne. Dust is produced when solid objects are broken down into fine particles. You can see this in woodworking, crushing, and grinding processes. Mist is made up of droplets that are suspended in the air. They are created when pressurized liquids are sprayed. Fumes are composed of solid particles that are formed when metals or plastics are heated, as in welding and furnace operations. Unlike dust, mist and fumes, gases and vapors do not result from materials being fragmented. Instead, they are created by changes in the material that take place on the molecular level. For example, gases occur when a substance is heated beyond a certain point. As a result, the space between its molecules increases and its density sharply decreases. At the same time, it expands, becoming diffused through the air. The molecules forming the gas are not separate from the material. The gas is still the same substance, but in a different state. 